Happy New Year guys and thanks for coming to this video. So here we have four lenses we're looking at. We've got the uh, Sigma Contemporary 150-600. to We've got the Canon 100-400 to Mark II L with the 1.4 Mark III EF extender. Um, the RF600 and the RF800. And as promised, we're going to look at image quality on the RF600 and 800 lenses in particular. And I just want to show you some samples. It's up to you to make your own mind up. I'm not here to tell you which lens to go for. But I just want it to be informative and help you decide is the sharpness good enough for you. The RF lenses are fine for video work. And you don't need a huge amount of detail in your pictures for video work in general. Uh, standard definition is only about 2 megapixels. 4K is around 4 to 6 megapixels and 8K is only around 8 megapixels so you don't need huge megapixels to do video work however if you're a still shooter you may be concerned about the fact that the RF lenses might not be sharp enough for you and that's why I've done this video um, my opinion is subjective some people may agree with it or disagree with it but I just feel that there's some sort of ghosting artifacts going off in the RF 600 and 800 lenses that mean they're not really sharp enough for me anyway anyway have a look at the studio images and I hope it informs you on the quality of these RF lenses thanks for watching and have a nice day bye bye welcome to the studio guys here I have a new video for you this video is to assess Image quality on these four lenses. So we've got the Sigma 150 to 600, the Canon 100 to 400 Mark II L EF lens with the 1.4 Mark III EF extender, the RF 600 and the RF 800 lens. Uh, we've got two lens sharpness tests uh, cards here to have a look at. So where, without further ado, let's just have a look at them to start off with. So that's the uh, Sigma, Canon 100 to 400, the RF 600, which does seem to be some sort of ghosting going off, but which makes, seems to make it a bit softer, and the RF 800. RF 800 just seems a tiny bit softer. I did notice that Chelsea Northrop did mention and say the 800 was slightly sharper than the 600. Um, I think it's the other way around. I think the 600 is a tiny bit better than the 800, but not by much. Um, so, without further ado, let's go back to the Sigma and zoom in there at 100%. So you can see the sharpness, which seems to be good detail. And I do think it, it is rendering, you know, the numbers quite well. And I do think it's quite sharp. Now the 100 to 400 Mark II L, have a look at 100% there. Again, rendering good detail. You can even see the, the detail in the paper, so it, it's it's good. Let's have a look at the RF 600. Zoomed in to 100%. There, you can see the quality. Make your own mind up. You know, these examples are for you to make your own mind up. You know, I'm not here to try and convince you what's good or bad. Um, but in my opinion, I just don't think it's very sharp, the RF600. So let's have a look at the 800. So 100%. That's the uh, quality we're getting from the 800. Again, it just seems a tad bit worse than the 600, if I'm honest with you. Viewing this at 100%, we're on the EOS R6 20 megapixel camera using a smartphone to trigger the um, the camera to take, take a picture so we've got no camera shake no possibility of camera shake here guys so don't, don't be fit saying to, to me oh you must have touched the camera and you know you've got some camera shake there I haven't um, all stabilizations were turned off and um, I just use a remote trigger on my phone to get the sharpest image possible all images are ISO 400, uh, apart from some of the later ones that were ISO 800, um, but that shouldn't really affect this test. Anyway, let's go back to the Sigma, 
at 600 mil there you go that's the quality that's the uh, 100 to 400 map to L equivalent to 560 millimeters I tried to bring the camera a bit closer so it's equivalent to the Sigma the RF 600 mil there you go that's the quality we're getting and then the 800 mil and that's the quality we're getting from that um, not a good showing from the RF lenses in my opinion anyway let's go back and have a look at the corners this time so you know I want to have a look at the corners in all these images so let's just just bear with me while I get it to the left bottom corner for all four lenses so you can see the quality so first of all the Sigma looks good looks nice and sharp and I don't have any concerns with that so I'll look at the 100 to 400 Canon lens again it seems not quite as tack sharp as the Sigma lens but it's not far off so I'll look at the RF 600 as you can see it just looks a bit more blurred out so there you go that's the example of the RF 600 let's have a look at the RF 800 now and again if I'm honest with you it does seem to be a little bit more blurred than the 600 is so just for the video um, for you guys on YouTube because it might not be that obvious in terms of showing the quality of the four lenses um, I'm gonna zoom in at 200% so you can actually see it um, you may be on a smartphone and it might not be obvious so let's just zoom in at 200% we're gonna focus our attention on number 18 so that's 200% there you go on the Sigma 150 to 600 let's have a look at the Canon EF 100 to 400 and that's at 200% looks half decent let's have a look at the RF 600 at 200% if you look at the 18 it doesn't look that clear uh, let's have a look at the 800 RF zoom in at 200% and there you go it looks a tad bit worse in my opinion so let's go back to the Sigma at 600mm look at the Canon at 560 the one point, with the 1.4 they're very similar as you can see there's very little difference there uh, from the Sigma and the Canon so make your mind up there which you think is better the RF600 next as you can see it's far worse in my opinion so let's have a look at the RF 800 now and there you go that's your differences there so let's move on to the second test chart I've got so here's the Sigma I want to zoom into this area where the rings are so you can see um, the sharpness there is a pattern in this ring and I want to zoom in there at 200%. Do the same for the Canon 100 to uh, 400 Mark 2 L. Just seems not quite as sharp as the Sigma. Let's zoom in there on the RF 600 at 200%. And I'll have a look at the RF 800 at 200% as well. So. Let's start again on the Sigma at 200%. Out of the four, you can clearly see that looks the best. Let's have a look at the Canon uh, with the 1.4 extender. Um, it just seemed a bit more blurred than the Sigma. This is why I said the Sigma lens seems sharper. Um, there are other benefits of the other Canon lenses over the Sigma, noticeably the uh, image stabilization is better on the Canon lenses um, but as you can see with the 1.4 it probably does affect image quality slightly here um, I suspect if you take the extender off and brought the lens closer it would jump back up there as just as good as the Sigma if not better um, so have a look at the RF 600 now because I want to show you the examples again 
you know some people have been criticizing me saying i don't know what i'm talking about uh these lenses are great for taking imagery you know i want to test the sharpness you know so a lens can be sharp enough but it might not be tack sharp you just got to remember that so this is the rf 600 at 200 uh, percent this is at 800 millimeters on the rf 800 um and as you can see it just seems a bit more blurred out so let's do this in quick succession so you can see the difference so let's just go back to the sigma the ef 100 to 400 next the rf 600 next and then the rf 800 so again make up your own mind guys ladies and gentlemen um, I'm not here to tell you which you think is best that's up to you my audience to make your own mind up and um, personally I would probably stick with the 100 to 400 with the 1.4 extender and not buy the RF lenses if I'm honest with you um, when it comes to video um, the RF lenses shoots right back up there above the other two um, because the stabilization is far better um, and they're lighter and easier to carry around you know for video work they're probably certainly are fantastic um, but you don't need the high resolution for video you know um, you know standard definition is only about two uh, megapixel 4k is about four to six megapixels um, 8k obviously is only eight megapixels you know um, you don't need a lot of megapixels for video work but for images if you're doing stock photography or you're, you're doing high quality high resolution work you want good expensive sharp lenses such as the 500 and 600 f4 lenses um, they can resolve the detail that you need unfortunately I just don't think these RF lenses can do that anyway I hope this was helpful in seeing the samples but again I'll just show you it again here uh, the six, Sigma 150 to 600 there 200% Canon at 560mm the uh, Mark II EF lens the, e, um, the RF 600 and the RF 800 so I hope these samples helped you decide which you think is the better lens and you know make your own mind up and I hope you get the best out of your photography thank you bye bye